This is a quick video to show you how to set up the ice cap controller to work with the gyre and the Provolac. You're going to need a few tools, either a pair of scissors or a wire cutter, a wire stripper, and a large jeweler's screwdriver with Phillips head and flathead. Gather all your parts and we'll get started. First step is clipping off the end of the existing wire that comes with the ice cap. The cable that's applied won't work with the Proflex, so we need to expose the ends of the wire to connect it to the breakout box. You can use a wire stripper, or in this case I used a pair of scissors just to show you how you can do it. Strip the end and expose the two wires, orange and black. Trim any extra insulation just to make sure your wire is nice and clean. You can see I've twisted the ends of the wire together and ready to insert them into the breakout box. Use the jeweler screwdriver to take the cover off of the breakout box. Inside the box you'll see that there are two sets of positive and negative ports to connect a wire to. Loosen each connection, insert your wire through the opening in the bottom of the cover of the breakout box. Connect the orange wire to the positive terminal and the black wire to the negative terminal. Connect the second wire just in case you get another gyro controller in the future and you don't want to have to do this again. Put the cover back on and you're done with the hard part. Now all you have to do is connect the gyre to the ice cap, plug it into the controller, and you're ready to go. The ice cap essentially takes place of the gyre controller, so you really don't have to do anything other than make the connections with the wires, put everything in place, and then plug the expansion box to the Proflux, and then you can use the Proflux stream pump to control your gyres. I'll be doing another video showing you how to set up the stream pump section in Proflux control software soon.